Hi and welcome to another Touch of Japan. Today I'm going to be showing you making of another joint. This is the Kanawa Tsugai. A little bit more complicated than the one I did last time, but I hope you'll enjoy that. I've also got a book I want to tell you about. I've got some more wood that's going to be inducted into the World of Wood series. And I'm going to be talking a little bit more about another Japanese pool saw. So plenty to get through. Let's make a start. The proportions for the joint are all shown in the diagram. I won't go through all the marking out today, but be assured there will be a separate video covering everything. Now, the Japanese saw I want to talk about today is this one, the Kataba. It's a Japanese pull saw uh, with a very short back on it. Now, that means that this part of the blade is very rigid and the rest of it is a little bit flexible. The benefit of this is that we can saw uh, using the rigid part to get a nice straight line. And then when the back gets in the way of sawing deep enough, we can move to the front edge of the saw, front end of the saw, and just cut as deep as we need to go. <laughs> So that seems to be progressing well. Now the book I want to tell you about this time is uh, Making Shoji by Toshio Odata. When I made my first Shoji, this is the book I used uh, as a reference. Uh, it's got everything in it you need to, to build Shoji, uh, but I would say it's not a simple step-by-step -step guide. You do need to read around a bit, and uh, I certainly needed to do that, referencing forwards and backwards in the book uh, to actually understand some of the things that were being discussed. But everything is in there, and if you pay attention, you're a good reader and you've got a basic understanding of woodwork, you should be able to make a shoji screen using just this book.
Now I mentioned earlier a wood that was going to be inducted into my World of Wood series and this is it. It's Hinoki. Uh, this is a, a lovely timber. Obviously I'll tell you a lot more about it in the, uh, in the World in Woods video. But basically this is the wood that tends to be used on luxury homes, shrines, temples, that sort of thing. Uh, small bits of furniture. It's, uh, it's quite expensive these days. Uh, but it's lovely to work with, it's got a beautiful smell. So watch out for that video on the World of Wood series, and that'll be coming up uh, before too long. Now, back to the joint. And here's the finished joint. Now I'm pleased with that, it's come out really well. And you can see a step-by-step -step guide on making this in an upcoming furniture and cabinet making magazine. And I'll post details about that when it's published. So it's just making a start on trying out the Hinoki for the uh, World in Wood series. And I must say the smell coming off these shavings is just wonderful. Hope you've enjoyed the show. See you next time. Cheerio.